So on the 15th, on Monday, it's gonna be so So on the 15th, on Monday, it's gonna be so cold. Like, I don't even know what negative 15 is. Andrew? You're willing to go out there and you're willing to brave the elements on a cold, windy, snowy January night uh, for me and do that for a few hours. I'll fight for you for the next eight years. You have the worst weather, I guess, uh, in recorded history, but. Maybe that's good because our people are more committed than anybody else. So maybe it's actually a good thing for us. So apparently we're supposed to believe the weather is going to keep people away in Iowa. And that may very well be true, but a couple of reminders for some of the folks out there. First and foremost, this is Iowa. The people voting in this caucus live in Iowa. They are used to these temperatures. They are used to this weather. They live there. Now, the reporters and whatnot, they may hate it, but who cares? what they think or feel generally about anything. As for who this will hurt the most, I keep hearing it will hurt Donald Trump supporters the most. And I'm trying to figure out why exactly that might be. Donald Trump supporters are the most hardcore supporters you're going to find of anyone anywhere at any time. Why would they not show up in larger numbers than, say, uh, Ron DeSantis' supporters or Nikki Haley's supporters or anyone else? It, It just doesn't make sense. They're insane. They love Donald Trump. It, it, not only in spite of all his flaws, but because of them. They're ultra fans. They love the guy. And this guy's been the bane of my existence since he came down that golden elevator. Not because I wouldn't vote for him, because I have multiple times in 2016 and 2020. But because I think other Republicans uh, could probably do a better job than he has. But that doesn't matter. They still love him. And because they love him, they will show up to vote for him. And they love him more than anyone should ever love a politician, uh, but they do. So uh, I will warn you, before people start suggesting that these polls will be different because of the weather, no, 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 no. What's going to happen at that caucus is going to happen. If Ron DeSantis has more supporters than Donald Trump, he'll win. If Nikki Haley does, she'll win. Their supporters are going to show up. The weather is not going to be the reason why Donald Trump might lose. If he loses, it's not for that reason. I don't think it's going to happen. The polls would have to be off by like 20 or 30 points. Uh, Donald Trump has everything going for him. And the weather being bad only helps him because his fans are insane for him. They're not going to go away because it's cold where they live, where it's cold all the time. Uh, I think that's rather foolish. Now, don't get me wrong. That will be one of the excuses used. If he loses the Iowa caucus, but that is probably not going to happen.